Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. Sorry about the background noise. There's a lot of fall maintenance going on here at the RV park, but today's video was brought to you by, or at least inspired by, one of my viewers, because my viewers are the best when it comes to cutting through the BS and just giving me tips. <laughs> Carolyn's RV Life's latest video. Yes. For years, she's been talking about how her life of woe in upstate New York was just dreadful, like all of her twist story. You know, I was just in England. <laughs> recently you know her 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 uh, theme is like her life was just horrible and it was like please sir can I have some more like she's in some sort of you know boarding room uh, situation where she's in a in a uh, you know a poverty condition living like off gruel and in in horrible tenement houses like they did you know when child labor was legal back in England she kind of paints it in that kind of sort of way that theme I'm not saying she, she lived like the uh, child laborers of England did in the 17th and 18th century, but she definitely puts a spin on it because, you know, poverty sells and people love a, a tale of woe and then they, you know, they follow you. <laughs> it's just weird that way. So uh, this video is brought to you by RV Floor Plans, or at least inspired by him. I'll, I'll read his comment. Hey Lines, Carolyn's new video is not adding up. I thought she moved every six months. I thought she went from apartment to apartment. I thought she was thrown around from school to school. I'm from upstate New York. That's where Carolyn's video was done, upstate New York. She had it pretty good, and indeed she did. <laughs> I think you need to look into this bombshell. Yes, it is a bombshell, because often there's a... Uh, a disconnect, let's just say, between what Carolyn says in one video and paints a, a picture, and then the truth comes out later. And then I'm, I'm about the only truther that has the ability, because she shuts everybody else down. She's tried to shut me down. I've put the emails up for years. She tries to shut me down, but, you know, I speak truth. I'm honorable. I even treat her very fairly, and I've, I've offered to do many wonderful and expensive things for her. So I'm a pretty fair-minded person, so we're going to stick just to the facts. <laughs> and i got to use a few snippets of her video that's called Fair Use. I'm not grabbing her whole video, you know, like she'll claim, you know, if I take four or five seconds, she'll say, oh, I took the whole video. <laughs> it's not true, folks. It's not true. Anywho, she's up in upstate New York visiting her mom. Good for her. You know, her mom's probably getting pretty old. So she uh, claims her life was pretty hard, but we're seeing the neighborhoods where she actually grew up in. And, you know, they're not bad. They're pretty much like most people. I mean, I grew up in the Arctic, well, subarctic, I guess you might say, up in the Yukon. And I'll show you the house that I grew up in. In, on Teslin Road in Whitehorse. Now, that's in the Riverdale area. I, you know, well, most of you that are watching this video don't even know the Yukon or Whitehorse, the capital, but that's actually a nice neighborhood. Now, it's the Yukon, so mind the grass. It was probably, you know, this picture was taken sometime when uh, people didn't care about cutting the grass. You know, it's a very short growing season. Most of the time, it's just snow, especially in the winter, but anyway, that's a house, that's one of the houses I actually grew up in, and that's actually a pretty good neighborhood. Today, uh, I'm going to guess off the top of my, ho my head that uh, that house probably in Whitehorse today is probably probably worth around 800000 bucks. Yeah, it's not cheap to live in the Yukon. Hard to believe, but it's true. Anywho, getting back to Carolyn. She claims a life of woe, hardship, and then she goes back home to visit mom and she lets the snippets out of how her life was not too bad. It actually pretty nice neighborhoods. Let's see a clip from her latest video of where she lived. That bed, that third window up there, right there, was my bedroom. And this was a whole other rental. What if it's empty? That's pretty nice. Very nice, beautiful, well-kept white house. It's pretty large too. I'd say it's even better than how I grew up in the Yukon, and I really got no complaints growing up in the Yukon. Hey, I love growing up in the Yukon. Hey, you got boating in the summer, snowmobiles in the winter, <laughs> and I definitely didn't grow up in poverty. Sure, my parents were kind of broke when I was little, 
but they got a little bit of shekels together soon after. That's just life, you know. It's called work, you know, you do a little bit of work, a few years later the bank account kind of gets bigger. <laughs> it's a strange concept that Carolyn don't like to talk about, that four letter word work, but I don't know why she does this. She paints the picture of the horrible hardships um, and then she forgets her own narratives later. <laughs> Quite often that's just the case. You know, if you're going to actually paint a story of fiction, let's just say, on YouTube, at least remember those lies. <laughs> it's very strange. Now, my viewers are pretty sharp. They, you know, aren't the type of people to believe it's raining when you pee on their legs, to use a Judge Judy euphemism. It's a good euphemism. That's why I like it. So, you know, my viewers are sharp. Carolyn's viewers are kind of that shut-in, downtrodden group, and, you know, they're forgiving. You could say anything to them, and they probably might believe it. Of course, she bans everybody who has any uh, <laughs> dissenting opinion on her channel. It's very strange how she acts like North Korea when she talks like she's a bastion of free speech, when she is the exact opposite. But I'm here to set the record straight. She had a pretty good life. I, I've seen the grounds of her high school and uh, the places that she lived. It's not bad at all. If I grew up there, I'd be content as hell. I know we all can't grow up in uh, Bel Air and Beverly Hills. <laughs> and most people, in fact, do not. So, as far as I'm concerned, Carolyn's narrative of how she grew up and how horrible and scary and, um, you know, you know in, envisioning that... Uh, you know, horrors of, of, of child rearing that uh, she depicts of, uh, you know, absolute destitute poverty. It, it's not true, folks. It's not true. I'm sure her parents were not wealthy. I'm sure they were working class like the rest of our parents were, you know. <laughs> but it wasn't horrible. So don't believe everything you see on YouTube because YouTube isn't real. And, you know, I get her haters coming over here. And they don't realize that YouTube, in fact, is not real. My point being that anybody can say all sorts of nonsense on YouTube, and many people believe it. I stand here as a truther, just speaking the truth, and I'm the bad person. <laughs> because we live in the post-truth era where truth is not welcome. But I stick my neck out there on here on YouTube as an RV nomad, one that doesn't e-bag, doesn't sell merch, don't have any of these things to suck your money into my bank account. I don't do that. Because I do that with integrity, I'm the bad person. Meanwhile, the person trying to extract and suck cash, they are the good people. And they often paint a narrative that is false. And I'm not just saying Carolyn's RV like many, many other nomads do it. Some of them are convicted felons. Hey. You do your own research and you figure out who those people are. It's sad. It's despicable. I don't know why people do it. Well, actually, I do know why they do it. It's all about the monies. It's not funnies. So, I don't know. You put your comment down below on what you think about Carolyn's RV life and her tale of woe and upbringing in upstate New York. It wasn't that bad at all. <laughs> anyway, the noise is getting to me here. I'm going to throw this video up. You put your comments down below. And I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out.